What's up guys, David Fala here. Welcome to my channel, welcome to another tutorial. Today's tutorial, you guys are gonna enjoy a lot. This is a very salon friendly, uh, modern haircut that you see a lot on social media. It involves a lot of scissor work and also fading. We are not going to skin this haircut. We actually going to create like a shadow fade, which is pretty good. And I, I know you guys have been asking for this type of content. And the top is gonna be uh, disconnecting some parts. We're gonna create a lot of texture. We're gonna create a lot of movement. We're going to create different shapes that you guys are gonna enjoy. This haircut is great for those looking to make their face a little bit longer, a little bit slimmer. This is gonna create a very nice Nice face frame to say it like that so it's gonna shape your face very nicely how I said it's very modern uh, it requires a little bit of work in the morning to style it just to blow dry the front a little bit put a tiny bit of product but it looks amazing so if you guys are ready to learn how to do the circa let's go ahead and start with the video <laughs> So we're going to start uh, by cutting the top first or not necessarily cutting top first, but what I like to do is to separate uh, or section or create panels for my haircuts. Why? Because sometimes when you have a lot of hair, it's very hard to do work when there's too much hair everywhere. So I always like to separate the top from the sides and that just allows me to focus on one area. Uh, sometimes I start with the top, sometimes I start with the sides, depending on what I'm trying to uh, do. In this case, we're going to start with the sides, but I don't want to have that much hair uh, kind of like on my way, right? So I'm separating the top from the sides. I'm using a horseshoe parting, and this is going to just be based on the grow pattern. So I'm going to look where the grow pattern on the back is and where the grow pattern on the front is, and I'm going to use that as my guide to create my horseshoe uh, come, how you guys can see right here after that well, what I'm going to do I'm going to create diagonal back section so I'm going to start taking sections on the sides and I'm going to create direction and also the graduation that I want to create that means that I'm going to go from short to long right so the bottom being shorter the top or oh, where the head rounds to say it like that is going to be longer so I'm going to use that as my guide that's called a graduation everything you start from short to long is a graduation that's what a fade is that's what a most men's haircuts are gonna be for the most part so how you can see I'm angling my fingers in a way that creates erection and but also it goes from short to long okay and that's I'm gonna continue doing that all the way to the back Here, I'm gonna show you another angle of how the back will look, and you can see we continue taking those diagonal back sections until we reach the back, all the way to the back, and then we have no more hair to, to cut, pretty much. After I'm done with that, obviously, I will do the other side and have everything ready to uh, start with my clipper work. Before I start with my clipper work, I like to dry the hair. It doesn't have to be completely, completely dry, but I will say like at least 80% dry. And the reason is because I like to cut with my clippers where the hair is almost dry or fully dry. Uh, not because the clippers cannot cut through, uh, you know, wet hair they can uh, especially the modern clippers but the reason is because it is so much easier and you have more control when the hair is dry think about it when you're cutting grass if you cut the grass after it rained uh, it's a mess you know you make a, end up making a mess with it so you wait until it's dry and then you cut it it's kind of the same principle right here i'm connecting the number three with the lever open to the graduation i created using my scissor work but you can see as soon as i get to that where i want to keep the hair longer or where the graduation uh starts or the weight area is then i kind of use my my c motion to avoid going through all that hair and cutting shorter than i need to right uh that's this is why i like to start with my scissor work first because it allows me to create that shelf or that shape that I want to create with my haircut so it makes it so much easier for me to af after use my clippers to connect or to create my fade right so in this case we started with a number three then we go into a number two and the reason why I'm going like uh, each guard is first to show you guys you know be organized with what I'm doing but also because I'm not sure how short I want to cut the sides during the consultation with my client we spoke about going lighter on the sides but not not skin right we don't want it to go skin we want it to be shorter 
order. So I'm going clip by clip until I get to a lens that I feel like it looks nice and then, um, you know, verify with my client, that's what we're doing and then go from there. Uh, if I guess incorrectly and I pass a clip that is too short, then I might cut it too short and then, you know, it is what it is and then the client's not gonna be super happy. So that's, that's the reason why. So after we did with one and a half, I realized that it actually one and a half looked good, especially when we're gonna create contrast in the neck and on the on the sideburns doing a taper we're going to do a taper with a half as you can see the machine is open with the lever open that creates a half and we're using that for our taper i'm using the bottom of the ear as my guide for my first um line but also or guide and then i'm now i'm using the one i have to make sure that section that i'm cutting is fully fully clean up and it's everything is even with a one and a half so i can start my taper process this is the same thing I'm going to do on the sides. So whatever you guys seen on the back is exactly what I'm going to do on the sides, right? So now we're using a one. I will always start with a lever open and then uh, close the lever little by little until it's fully closed. And uh, that's how I do all my, my fades. Uh, I always want to remember you guys that the way I do things is just my way of doing things. Doesn't mean it's the best. Doesn't mean it's the only one. Uh, you guys got to choose what works for you. If what you're doing right now is working, continue doing that. If what you're doing right now is not working, maybe you can try something different. And that's exactly what we're doing uh, with this, uh, with my fading technique, right? So now that the, the, the fade is uh, almost, you know, it's, it's getting there. It's getting there little by little. So we are going back with the wine when the one open then we close it little by little how you guys can see and we're gonna fully close it after we're gonna see if there's any dark areas and then we uh we're done right now i'm going to start shaping up my uh the the, the client and then i'm using uh in this case i'm using the the wall c uh, detailer uh, how you guys can see and the, what you guys see on the bottom is the tomb 45 adapter for everybody that always asks me what it is on my what what, what, what the clippers have uh, it's a it's a wireless receiver to charge my clippers uh without any cords so right now what i'm doing i'm following um what i what is what is a little more natural look obviously we are creating a line that doesn't exist so we have to push back a little bit of the hairline but how much you push it back is going to depend in many variables and this case my client wants it to look nice but not super sharp so i don't that means i don't need to push it back too much as you can see i'm just kind of like pushing it back a little bit on the back of the neck i'm just creating a nice shape for him and then uh right here i'm going to shape it around uh because like i said we did a, a half we didn't do a skin we did a half so there's gonna be hair there stubble so we're gonna use that to shape it up i love how it looks sometimes when it's like faded like this but it also has a shape to it i think it looks so clean uh, very classy in my opinion but also with a modern uh technique so i would have a look so i like it i think it looks I, li I think it looks awesome in my opinion right especially when the hair is long on top so you create a lot of that contrast i think it looks super cool and it's a very salon friendly haircut because i know a lot of clients are always asking for it right now we're going to cut the top the top of the hair is uh is we're gonna keep it long we're gonna sleek it back so i'm gonna show you guys a very easy technique to follow to make sure that you guys uh cut it in a very efficient way you guys don't get lost because i feel like a lot of people get lost cutting the top so the first thing we're going to do we're going to uh, separate the hair in three parts i'm going to explain it on a very easy way so everybody you know people that maybe might not be barbers or hairstylists i don't want to use uh, language that you might you know it's going to get you guys lost so the first thing we're going to do we're going to create a set three separate the hair in three parts with the metal part being our main guide and this guide is going to be uh, following you guys can use the, the nose as a guide to create your section and this section is going to be i would say uh, about a, a finger width right so now we're using the guide we elevate all the hair up and we're going to create our length how much do we want to leave this is what is going to dictate how much hair we leave on top how you guys can see the front is going to be a little bit shorter than the back and right here on the back i'm changing my elevation or how i'm pulling the hair out of the hair and this is going to dictate how much hair i'm going to leave on the back area or the crown for all the barbers out there or hairstylists that are watching this video pretty much what i did i created a triangular shape 
shape that means that the front is longer the back is shorter and the crown i'm rounding it a little bit to make sure it hugs the head a little bit nicer and it has a little bit more movement and it's not too bulky that's pretty much what i did now i'm taking sections i'm taking vertical sections so i took one section bring it to the previous and cut it now i'm taking another section bringing it to the previous watching where my guide is and then i'm cutting and maintaining my shape that's the most important thing you gotta make sure that you're not taking sections that are too big and then you are kind of messing up the shape that you're trying to create when i mean shape is how the hair looks the silhouette of the of the of the actual haircut and what you're trying to achieve with that haircut right so right here i'm drying the hair i wanted to show you guys how i dry hair pretty much what i do i take sections just how when i'm cutting the same right way and this is going to be more efficient for me to do so i start with the back i start drying the back first take another section dry it take another section dry it. when i get to the front if i want to create volume i'm going to grab my last section i'm going to kind of like use my my brush my vent brush to style it up this is going to create a lot of um, texture and volume and that's it now i'm using my razor to uh, create the shape that i want for the for the shape up and i had already done this with my trimmer but i'm making it even nicer using my razor i did apply a hot towel i did apply shaving gel so uh, i don't hurt the client and i don't irritate the skin it's something very important that you guys do maybe you don't offer hot towels that's fine but at least put a, some type of lubricant to help the the blade glide a lot nicer so you can uh not you know have a better experience for the client at the end of the day guys clients not only pay for the haircut some do that's why they go to places that are cheaper because they're paying for the haircut but clients that are willing to pay more they're going to pay for the experience while they're getting the haircut so this is a good way to offer a better experience you're going to get better clientele that'll pay you more so that's a little tip that i throw uh you guys there for everybody interested on bettering their business and making more money and having better clientele and being more booked it's offering a better experience to your clients Okay, now that I'm finishing uh, all the detailing of the haircut, we're going to style it and uh, we'll create something a little more creative with movement, with texture that you guys are gonna enjoy. I want you guys to see how it looks. Uh, here, uh, I just put a little bit of product and you can see I'm styling it very different, very European, if you're gonna say it like that, something that we see from uh guys like from menspire and like people in europe like that do these haircuts that have a lot of movement a lot of texture that looks super nice and modern that's exactly the way we style it here and uh it's just a creative way of doing it and this is the final result guys so you can see it looks great super clean with a lot of movement the scissor work the faded everything in my opinion is on point and that's the haircut guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and like it any comments please leave it like obviously in the comment section and i'll see you guys on the next one take care